Hi, in this video I want to share with you some simple tricks on how to avoid lag in Inkscape. First and main reason why you are experiencing delay when you are creating graphics in Inkscape is that your computer is not powerful enough. But if you can afford to upgrade, I'm going to show you a few simple tricks on how to reduce the delay and still be able to use Inkscape to create graphics. Now first of all we need to understand what makes our projects heavy. The first one is the number of nodes in your project. The more nodes you have, the heavier the project. For example, if I create a rectangle here and I convert it to a path, you see that we have four nodes. For example, I can select them and use this option to add four more nodes but in case I want to edit just one side of this rectangle, for example this one, and leave the graphic like this, I'm not using these three nodes, which means that the better solution here will be to undo this and select only these two nodes and add a node in the middle and then edit this object. So try to avoid adding nodes in places that you won't need them. The other two reasons and probably the main causes of experiencing delay in Inkscape are using filters and blur. And especially the blur is something that we use very often to create effects in our graphics. It's not something that we can avoid using. One of the ways to reduce lag is to go to the Inkscape Preferences and in this dialog select Filters and here you see we have Gaussian Blur Quality for Display and also Filter Effects Quality for Display. Have in mind that this does not affect the uh, exported graphic. This is only for displaying the graphics in Inkscape. Now, unfortunately, I have found out that even if you set these settings to lower quality and therefore faster performance, it will not make much difference when it comes to lag. What will happen is that the graphics with applied filters or blur will start to look very bad. So I recommend leaving these to the defaults. Now let's close this and I'm going to tell you a few simple but effective tricks on how to avoid delay. One of them is to stay at a reasonable distance from your graphics, which means that if you zoom in closer to a graphic that has filters applied or blur, you will experience much more delay than if you are zoomed out. So try to edit your graphics from a distance. Of course, this is not always possible, sometimes you need to zoom in so you can edit something and what you can do in those cases is to put the objects with applied filters or blur on separate layers and therefore whenever you need to you can make the layers invisible and reduce the lag. If you don't know how to use layers I'll put a link in the description for my beginner's guide playlist where you can find detailed tutorials about that and one more advice let's say I want to add text or something else next to this clock vector graphic instead of creating the text or the graphic next to this clock I can hold down the middle mouse button and pan like this and create my text or graphic over here and then I can zoom out grab it and position it next to the clock so this way you can avoid also some delay when you're creating graphics and I hope this video gave you some ideas and was useful if it was like it leave a comment if you're new to my tutorials visit my channel and subscribe for more and that's it for now bye